Ask yourself, how fast would a light have to flicker for you to not notice it? Two beats a second, 10. 24, what if that flickering light, just like the one screwed into your ceiling right now, could transmit data 100 times faster than your Wi-Fi? That's Li-Fi. It's the difference between 15 megabits per second, America's average download speed, to as high as 224 gigabits per second. Harold Haas, a leading expert on the technology from the University of Edinburgh, and the guy who coined the term Li-Fi, describes it as wireless data from every light. By creating special microchipped LED lights that switch on and off at ridiculously high speeds, we can transmit data faster and cheaper than ever before. Wi-Fi is fine, you know, it, it works. But if we're being honest, it's kind of slow and limited by the spectrum of radio frequencies. Li-Fi, on the other hand, uses the spectrum of visible and infrared light, which is 10,000 times larger and 10 times cheaper to use. But plot hole, you may say, doesn't that mean we need lights on all the time? What about sleep? Well, it turns out Li-Fi LEDs can be dimmed to levels so low, they become invisible to the human eye, but they'll still carry enough light to transmit data. And if that's not the most futuristic thing you've heard all day, then I honestly don't know what will be. So Li-Fi is practical, it's fast, it makes sense, but what would mass adoption truly mean for our future? Well, for one thing, never again will you have to walk around your house groaning to yourself as you try to connect to the internet by getting closer to the router. Li-Fi doesn't need a direct line of sight, and just using the light reflected off of walls can still get speed of 70 megabits per second, which is insane. Number two, hacker security. Because information is read through light flickers, your information is relatively safe in your house. You can continue to control your network and access is restricted to devices in your own space. Why? Well, as simplistic as it sounds, lights can't get through walls. Or a door. Mind blown. Three, autonomous cars become safer because they can communicate faster through the LED data transfer while on the road. Not to mention that once included in standard road infrastructure, street lights and traffic signals could tell cars what kind of road conditions to expect. Now, that might seem contradictory because I just mentioned light can't get through walls and doors, but Li-Fi can travel through the windows of your car to deliver the info straight to your vehicle. Li-Fi could be used in aircraft carriers without causing electromagnetic interference, meaning you could use your phone on an airplane. Bots communicate underwater without the need for cables. Wireless LAN connections will be a thing we read about in archival literature. Here Li-Fi, a company founded by Harold Haas, has already started making headway in pushing the tech to market. And according to research by Cision, it'll grow 80% year over year, with an expected market size of $8 billion in the next five years. In fact, it's already being used in a French real estate office. So the future of speedy internet might be here faster than you'd expect.